Lady Gaga is on the line. Hello, Monte Carlo. <laughs> I have to know, when you think back on the young girl that was pounding the pavement of the Lower East Side working for her big break, besides the money and the fame and, you know, <laughs> the millions and millions of albums, how have you changed? How have I changed? You know what? I'm, I'm so much more creative now than I ever was before. And I'm even more devoted to what I do. And I know that sounds maybe crazy, like I should be, you know, the opposite. I think people think that, you know, fame and fortune brings you, um, brings you happiness and you don't need anything else. But actually, the only thing that makes me happy is my music. And if I can't make my music or perform the way that I want to, I don't want to do it at all. Well, your third album comes out in a few weeks, November 11th, Art Pop. It's an album and an app. How do you feel about it? I'm really feeling very connected to what I'm making, and I'm, I love Art Pop so much, my new album, and the, the app that we've uh, invented to come out with it on November 11th. The new single, Venus, on October 25th, all of these things, like I feel so connected to them in a way that I've never had before. And I'm, I'm very happy with, with that. I'm happy that I could tell my 14-year-old self that. Oh, I love that. Okay. The new album, Art Pop, is out November 11th. I have Lady Gaga on the line. Now, I hate to get nerdy about art here with you. There's a, a book called The Anxiety of Influence, and the guy that wrote it, Harold Bloom, says artists suffer from anxiety brought on by their influences because they can't help being derivative. Now, of course, with Art Pop coming out November 11th, you have a ton of people that you've been working with visual and performance artists. How have those influences affected your journey? Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, in so many ways. I mean, well, pop art is something that's influenced my life for a long time since I was younger. And because of those influences, I, I then arrived at this idea of art pop. So pop art is maybe not entirely original, as, as this, this quote might suggest. But it is original an idea, as no one had ever before repeated these printed images over and over again in the way that Warhol did. Absolutely. Everyone knows the iconic Campbell soup can. Yeah. Or, for example, the images that Lichtenstein created. These are things that people had seen already. But, you know, the context of the way that he was worshipping the stars, the context of the way that they were worshipping things that were famous, appropriating fame for their own. This is what makes it a new idea. So referencing things and uh, being inspired by things, it is at the center of every artist. You must be a student of the work around you. You must be a student of the things that you uh, wish to create. You must know and understand it all. And at some point, you will take the work far, far, far enough away that it will become original, and then you will have that original moment. But, you know, I don't even believe that artists have uh, original moments throughout their entire careers. I think it's like only sometimes. And you should be grateful for those brief moments of originality. We are breaking it down this morning with Lady Gaga. The new album, Art Pop, is out November 11th. I, I, I think it's incredible that you think that most artists will very rarely find that one true moment of originality. Do you believe that there can ever be anything new? I think that the way that society explains things nowadays, because, you know, it's like Twitter and it's, everything's really instant, right? So it's very easy to point to things and say that they're the same. But they're not actually the same, and there's so many reasons why they're different. We just relegate things to being uh, simpler than they are. So I think that, you know, for me, Art Pop and for my album, it's about showing, showing the art of pop. It's about putting art culture into pop. It's about sh showing something that's actually been going on for a long time in music. Art pop is not my invention. It's just an idea. It's an acknowledgement of something that's been going on. I'm sorry, you asked me a question about art. You sort of asked for it. <laughs> no, I love it. I lo you know what? I, you were surrounded by art in high school, but kids today aren't that lucky. I, I, the arts are so underfunded. How does a kid oh, wait, learn? Wait, wait, wait. I was not surrounded by art in high school. Well, weren't you in theater? No. And I went to theater programs, and I, I did the work on my own. But no, I was not surrounded by any of it. I had to do it all myself, and that, so does everybody that wants to know about it. 
it's your job to do the research, to go out. If you love something, you have to chase after it. You know, it's like any dream. So that's how a kid learns to express their creativity without any guidance. That's how you did it. Yeah, and that's what I want my fans to do with this. That's actually what Art Pop is all about, is if, if my fans could take anything away from this album, it would be to follow your instincts in terms of what you feel creatively or, or not creatively inclined to be a part of, and then chase after it, you know, sprint towards it, because that you will achieve your dreams if you do this. You just have to follow your natural talents, and don't try to go against them no matter what outside people or sources are trying to tell you. Uh, to do. You must be yourself. This is the most lucrative business that you have. Ah, you are so inspirational. Congratulations on the new album. I love talking to you. Thank you. I love you, too. Thanks so much. And um, look out for my new single, Venus. is coming out October 25th. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Lady Gaga. Thank you. Bye.